the burden of Nineveh. This is the book of Nahum. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the es es ah, Elkishite. God is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take revenge on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea, and maketh it dry, and drieth up all the rivers. Bashan languisheth, listen, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world, and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation, and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. For while they be folded together as thorns, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble, fully dry. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor, thus saith the Lord. Though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus they shall be cut down when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. For now will I break his yoke for, uh, uh, listen, from off thee and will burst thy bonds as in asunder. And the Lord hath given a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name be sown. Out of thy house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image. I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. Behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feast, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. Now, that's a book of Nahum. You can get into the rest of it, too. It's a really good book to read. Um, the Lord loves you. Remember that. And uh, it had to remind me the other day because I got hit by some uh, hornets hit me on the arm. They got up under my sleeve there and got a little upset. And a couple of them got at me there. So I had to say, oh, thank you, Lord, for showing me what pain is again. Let me know what them little guys can do. But the Lord has control over everything. Remember that. Get in some Bible and read it, folks, so you know what it says for yourself. Remember that. God bless.